So this is Cosmo, a little robot which we launched uh, last year. Cosmo is really a little buddy living in people's homes and um, he likes people, he likes to be around people and he likes to play games. What we're releasing is uh, called CodeLab. It's a uh, user-friendly or kids-friendly programming interface for Cosmo. Last year we already released an SDK for the robot which has been used in research by hackers, makers, and so forth. We figured out that we can make the exact same functionality available in a more kids-friendly programming interface. And so what we're doing is we're using a graphical programming language called uh, Scratch Blocks, developed by uh, the Media Lab at MIT. And we add all the robotics functionality into it, which Cosmo has available. It gives people who are non-experts in robotics the tools to contribute to robotics. And in this case, we can start out really early where kids as young as five, six, seven years old can get access to not just a robot, but to real robotics functionality. Uh, he gets very excited about people. One of the first things we um, <laughs> ask people to do when they first get Cosmo and install the app is go through some, something called Meet Cosmo, and then he will look at you and then um, start analyzing your face and then remember how you look. And then you type in your name and he will uh, remember you and associate that name with you. In addition to just the, the programming interface itself, uh, what's also coming out together with CodeLab right in the beginning are what we call challenges. They are essentially tutorials um, which help you to get started. So we have 32 of them in the very beginning. They start from really, really simple, like making the robot drive straight, for example, to pretty sophisticated where you need to figure out how do you make the robot stack two cubes, for example, or so. Make the robot drive straight. Um, a really simple one. So um, you can give that a shot. Um, so this is a move block and you attach it to that yellow flag up here. Yep. And then click the green flag here. Yep. So now he just now he just drove. So this is good. It made a move. Sweet. <laughs> it's not just about making a light blink or make your robot drive straight, but we can give people access to things like face recognition, facial expression recognition. Um, 3D object uh, recognition and tracking and so forth. So those are the kind of tools where they haven't been available to people who are non-roboticists before. And then drag that up there and then go into animations. And, yeah, let's do animations and pick like a happy animation or something like that. Yep. And then we'll turn the robot around. And now what should happen is that when you try not to smile when you look at him. And then at some point uh, start smiling. So now you just use facial expression recognition, and that's a pretty sophisticated thing to do, especially when you want to do it well. But here it's just uh, wait until you smile. Most of the really amazing things we always plan to do with Cosmo are still coming out this year. The next step of CodeLab for us is coming out in, in the fall, and that is uh, called the Vertical Grammar. And in the Vertical Grammar, you can use essentially any function you have available in the Python SDK, and but have it available in easy to understand graphical blocks. So we fully expect people to develop full games and full behaviors and applications for Cosmo in this vertical grammar. So that's definitely the next step for us this fall.